I mean, I think just the energy from the bench, being able to have Izzy coming back and watching her rehab every day. She's a vet. Um, just being able to see her work hard. And I told her, like, remind people, remind people who you are. Like, I ain't forgot who you are. I watched you um, when I was in when I was in college and being able to see you even when you was at Tennessee. Like, I'm, I'm happy. I love a comeback story. Being able to see Izzy come back out there, you know, Kennedy's story, being able to have her come out there and then Lindsay coming out there, too. I think it was just. Our team has so many stories with us, and I think that we carry that on our shoulders and come out every day and fight. I know it takes us sometimes the first half to get us going or all the way to the fourth quarter, the last five minutes sometimes. But I think this team is just – we come together at the right time, even though sometimes it's not the right time and coach has to get on us. But I'm super proud of our girls. I think everybody coming together and knowing when their name is called, everybody just comes and steps up to the plate. Hey, ladies, congrats on the win. Uh, welcome to Washington, D.C. At this point in the season where we are, with so many new fans to the WNBA, how would you all describe the identity of the Chicago Sky with all of the talk <laughs> right now that's happening, you know, with how the W is, again, for new fans entering women's basketball? How would you like to be a known a Sky Town, you players, coach? How would you like people to know the Chicago Sky at this point in the season right now? Well, I'll answer it for our girls. Um, and, and I and it's affectionately when I say girls because they're like my babies. So it's affectionate when I say that. No, no, no disrespect to all because they are women, grown women. Uh, but to me, they're my babies. Um, uh, the question you're asking is um, pretty deep about who we are. We're um, incredible young women, great people. Before we talk about basketball, they're great people. They're loving, they're kind, they're caring. They want to give their time. They understand what this, the magnitude of this job. They understand that they have to be about people, be about community, be about loving and caring about those because little eyes are upon them. Uh, so they're sharing their experience. That's why they talk about their stories. Their stories are huge. So they wanted to share that to make sure that everybody knows that you can do it too. That's what these young ladies are about is you can do it too. We are that kind of team, a culture that we build in, culture we stand on. Angel had another double-double this game. What makes her so effective on the boards, especially offensively? It's a knack. She knows uh, when the ball goes up, she's already positioning herself to get an offensive rebound, offensive put back. Uh, it's huge for us to get those second chance opportunities that she gets for us. But it's the ability to, when the ball goes up, to get herself positioned, to have an opportunity to get an offensive put back. And then Isabel Harrison had a big third quarter. So can you just speak to her importance as she returns to 100%? Uh, when her name was called, she came in and gave us the energy sparked us offensively uh, and she was aggressive defensively and rebounding the ball. So all those things we needed at the time gave us that in necessary energy to get us going. Uh, and as she continues to rehab, as she continues to get stronger, we're, go we're only going to be a better basketball team. 